Hello guys and welcome back. Today I've got three hours to kill. It is hot. It is gonna be one of the most beautiful waterfalls here in Slovenia and also Europe. But before we get into that, let's go back and see how I got here. Knew from the first time I saw ya, you were not like the others. A cool kind of melody. You rattled my cage without warning. Kept it up right till the morning. A new kind of ecstasy. You found a different side of me. The one I'd like to be. A different side of me, yeah. You found a different side of me. Like someone pretty neat. A different side of me, yeah. After a short but grueling hike, it is so hot here, I've got the reward that I come for. I am now in the northern part of Slovenia in a famous place called Bobitz. It is very well known for its adrenaline junkie, outdoor activities, but also mainly for the Socha River, which runs all the way down the western part of the Triglav National Park. Just to my left hand side here, I can see the Triglav National Park, but that is not what I've come for today. It is Slapboka. It is one of the most beautiful waterfalls here in Slovenia. Now, I don't shoot much during the day. That is something that I want to do more. But I've waited here for the last half an hour for the clouds to come over. It's meant to rain this afternoon, but why have I waited for the clouds to come over? Just because the light was piercing through and it was so harsh on the waterfall. Now, cool fact about this waterfall, it's actually Europe's most powerful waterfall. The most volume of water in any waterfall in Europe, which is quite a cool fact here in the northern part of Slovenia. But now I'm going to set up, I know one composition that I definitely want to get. You can see the V shape coming down here. It works perfectly for a vertical composition on the top two corners leading straight into the main part obviously the waterfall. I'm gonna get the camera out now, the 18 to 135, and just see what I can do. I'd love to shoot landscape, but right now I don't think the composition is gonna work. And also, cool fact, I've got the drone. So hopefully we'll get some beautiful drone footage while we're here. to be a different side of me, yeah. So after quite a bit of mucking around in the vertical composition, I finally got the composition that I wanted. And I still did opt to go with the composition with the leading lines in the top left and top right hand side of the frame. But just in the bottom left hand corner, it sticks out. There's a big rock that sticks out and I was just getting that caught on the bottom left and it just wasn't doing exactly what I wanted to do, but after a little bit of mucking around and just changing millimeters and millimeters of focal range, I got the composition that I wanted. So I've shot an F9 ISO 200 and it's just on 55 mil. So quite a more, quite actually a bigger focal range than I thought that I was gonna shoot. I thought I was gonna shoot wide open, but also I put it to landscape mode and 18 as I am using the 18 to 135. And I think I might get the 10 to 24 mil out and shoot a big vista shot because the hardest thing about this image is trying to get the scale. This waterfall is 136 meters, but I guarantee you in this image, you will not know that. So here is the image in vertical composition.
So there is that image. It's the one image that I knew that I was going to capture when I was here. But I must say, this place is absolutely splendid. The waterfall, all the vista shot, all the way around to Bobbitts and Bobbitts Valley in the Socha region. It is so incredibly beautiful here. And I am so humble and so lucky to be working in a place such as Slovenia. I hope to spend a lot more time here in the winter because there's so many valleys, so many mountains to be climbed in this region, which I cannot wait to explore. But now I've changed over the, to the 10 to 24 mil. I really wanted to try and capture a bigger vista shot, but when I put the lens on, it doesn't look as good as what I wanted it to. It does give great depth because there is so many cuts into the mountain here. It really is a picture perfect waterfall, but it's really hard to capture through a lens right now. So I hope in a short while, the drone will be able to capture exactly what I want. Perfect footage and a great image. But with both images, I must say, the histogram is giving me a great readout for a single exposure. Nothing's overblown in the highlights and nothing is too dark in the shadows. The mid-tones are great and it's given me a perfect curve in the histogram to work with in post-production. So here is, I shot at 14 mil ISO 200 F9. It's given me one, one, two, uh, one 125 second in both images at 14 mil and at 55 mil in the vertical. So here, is that landscape image and after enjoy some incredible footage of Slapboka here in the northern part of Slovenia. Enjoy. So there is that epic drone footage. Now I must admit, every time, every time I get the drone out lately, my hands shake so much. I get so nervous to fly the drone. I have no idea why. It's maybe because I'm launching it off of cliffs lately, but I seriously have no idea. It is so hard to control the remote because my hands are shaking, but I really hope that drone footage paid off because this place is so incredibly hard to capture mainly the scale. The beauty is obvious. It is so beautiful here, but the scale is really hard. And that is why I shoot most of my photography with a human element in there. I would love to come back here and one of us hike up the valley and I hike up the mountain to capture the scale. It is possible, but it may never unfortunately happen. I definitely got one image of this beautiful place by drone and hopefully, hopefully two images. So here, is one, possibly two images from the drone right now. Mm -hmm. 
So there it is guys, there's all the images from this place. It's only a short little hike up, but a very important story here. I had three hours to do this vlog, get images, fly the drone and do the hike. It is not hard in a busy working schedule and the busy lives that we live to go out and do the things we love doing. And that is what today is all about. Going out and doing the three things that I love doing, photographing, hiking and vlogging for you guys. So get outside because I guarantee you the images outside are much better than indoors. Unless you're a real estate photographer or product photographer, I guess you stay inside and do them. But landscape photographers, get outside, just be in nature and do the things that we love to do. Photograph beautiful places. That is it from me today. I can see the rain coming. We are expecting three or four days of constant rain. So that could change things completely. But that is it for me today, the northern part of Bovitz. As I said, expect the winter to be full on here because there are so many beautiful places to explore. Guys, that is it for me today in Bovitz. Ciao.